hummingbirds. They amuse and amaze us with their brilliant flashes of iridescent color, squabbles over nectar feeders, and intricate nests woven of spider silk. These tiny avian wonders are worthy of our admiration. Hummingbirds are found only in the Americas. There are no hummingbirds in Europe, Asia, Africa, or anywhere else. Biologists have discovered that about 42 million years ago, hummingbirds broke away from swifts, their closest living relative. A few fossils of these tiny, fragile birds have been found in Germany, Poland, and France, and somehow the species died out in Europe, and then reappeared 22 million years ago in the Americas. So how and why did this happen? Yeah, well, nobody knows for sure. It all makes for a good mystery, with lots of twists and turns. One we'll stay tuned for, as more discoveries are made. Anyhow, of the 360-plus species of hummingbirds, 24 of them are found in the U.S., and 15 are seen regularly around Sierra Vista, Arizona. These remarkable birds feed continuously, visiting up to a thousand flowers a day, and they can keep track of the locations of those flowers, along with nectar feeders. A hummingbird will consume half of its body weight in nectar between dawn and dusk. Hummingbird tongues are also a marvel. Species have adapted so that their beaks match the flowers that they feed from, and some are longer and shorter, or even curved. The tongues of all hummingbirds are grooved in the shape of a W. Tiny hairs in the tip help collect the nectar, as the tongue is drawn in and out about 12 times per second. Hummingbird wings beat 60 to 80 times a second. Their flexible shoulder allows their wings to rotate 180 degrees in a figure eight pattern. Their unique wing design makes it so that they can fly forward, backwards, sideways, hover, and even fly upside down. Hummingbirds have really tiny feet, so you won't see one hop or walk like most other birds. They can only perch or scoot sideways on a perch. In order to move, they have to fly. Biologists conclude that tiny feet have less drag, resulting in more aerodynamic flight. One of the dazzling characteristics of hummingbirds is the colorful feathers. Males display brilliant flashes of red, purple, teal, orange to attract the female. She selects her mate based on his feather display. A more brilliant display evidently signals a more suitable mate. Female hummingbirds are drab in comparison to the male. This is for camouflage, since she is the one who sits on the nest. It's far preferable to blend in so that predators are less likely to discover the nest. The colors on hummingbirds is not pigmentation, like it is in many other birds. Instead, the color is caused by prism-like cells in the top layer of the feathers. The color we see depends on the angle of the light. Now, today is historic. It's the first day of Sierra Vista's Hummingbird Month. And this will be celebrating everything about hummingbirds, and especially Sierra Vista's claim to fame as the hummingbird capital of the USA. Hooray! Yay! August has been officially declared to be Hummingbird Month, and is when the most species of hummingbirds can be seen in Sierra Vista and the surrounding Sky Islands and San Pedro Riparian National Conservation Area. Well, that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. And to those who have subscribed, thank you. Hit the bell icon so you'll be notified of future videos right here on Birds and More. Until next time, bye for now.